Hey guys, uh, today's gonna be a tutorial because ever since I started doing Blender videos, everybody's been like asking me to do them. So I'm, I'm gonna do one now. This is a small tutorial, by the way. It's like really easy. I'm gonna be showing you how to generate automatically these like cool looking outlines around your objects in your render. It's pretty neat. Now, if you've used Blender before, you're probably wondering, isn't that just grease pencil? You're just using grease pencil. I'm not using grease pencil. It's rendering magic where you don't have to do any work at all. Isn't that cool? I bet, I bet you're excited. I know you are. So like you open up Blender. This is what it looks like. Um, you don't have to do anything else. That's it. This is the first video where we don't even have to delete default cube. I'm, I was tempted, but we're going to, we're going to leave him be. Okay. So the first step you gotta do is go up to render properties. Down at the bottom, there's a little button called Freestyle, and you're gonna check that off, right? I bet you've probably never even used that box before. So now, you're done. That's it. Tutorial's over. You're welcome. Okay, actually, we gotta do a couple other things, but it's not a lot. So, we're going over to Layer Properties. Scroll down. Look at this. A whole new secret menu has been revealed to you. So now, all you gotta do is scroll down to here. And at the very, very bottom, they tried to hide it, but we found it. So freestyle, line style, then another secret menu. And then this is just like a bunch of like rendering stuff that you can like play around with, but you don't really need it. All you gotta do is come over here to thickness, add modifier, a long stroke. Now here's, here's where it gets really cool. So mix, just change that to multiply, linear, change that to curve. All you gotta do is drag this little bit on the graph all the way down and then click on the center and drag it up. And you're done. That's all you have to do. Now, if we if we hit render image, you will see what I mean. It's a normal cube, but now it has outlines. So this is like really basic, by the way. Like this is, you could like play all day with this. You can increase the thickness on this little bar here. Let's render it again. And, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's obvious what it does. It made the lines thicker. I mean, God. So, it, I'm, I'm like, really excited about this. Uh, this is, like, a feature that's been in Blender for ages, by the way. Like, it's not some, like, secret thing that they just added. I'm not even on the newest version, so that's, that's how you know. It's, like, it's been in here for so long. I don't see anyone use it. I see everybody trying to figure out freaking grease pencil. <laughs> Suckers. Like, why, do you, why would you use grease pencil? You have to learn a whole other tool to get this effect when you could just use this. And it does it automatically. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you over. If you like grease pencil, this is gonna be your new thing. So there's like loads of crap you can do with this. You can change the texture. You can use nodes and stuff to do that. I'm not gonna get into that today though. I don't have, I don't have that kind of time. You can change the color. So like, hey, you want, you want red lines? <laughs> We can we can do red lines. Ready? Ba bam! Look, the lines are red. How crazy is that? Um, you, you can do like whatever the hell you want with this, really. Um, you can change the different stroke types. You can make it butt, round, square. I don't really know what what butt means, but we're just it, that's the default uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so I just showed you what this cool little tool does on a default cube, which I mean, come on default cube. It's, it's boring. So here is this much more complex model that I made uh, a little while ago on my own. It's this neat, like robot looking thing. Now this is perfectly fine, I guess, but here's what it looks like when we do exactly what we did earlier. Same thing. This is what it looks like, which is like absolutely incredible. I think it like makes it look way better and it gives it sort of like that. Um, I don't know. It's almost like a borderlands, like telltale kind of style thing. I don't know. I think it's really cool and that you don't have to go in and like use grease pencil over everything. Um, if you're trying to use your 3d models and integrate them into your 2d artwork, this is a perfect way to do that. Especially if you have this like comic booky style. I don't know. I just think it's really cool, but I'm not done yet. So you might be wondering, does this work with animation? Yes, it does. It works with animation so well. 
here's a little preview of it. I did this stupid little zombie model and then I applied a Mixamo animation because I'm not going to animate a whole character just for this little tutorial. <laughs> of course, why would I do that? So this is what it looks like. The lines deform, they follow the model and it does it automatically for you. It's so amazing. Like why, why don't people do this? I don't know, but you can now because I just told you. Isn't that, isn't that great? You bet it is. So uh, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I don't really know what else to tell you. Um, obviously this isn't like a replacement for grease pencil. I'm sure there's plenty of things that grease pencil can do that this does not. But when you want to like give that cool little style or some little extra trick to your 3D renders, I mean, this is like a fantastic tool. And the fact that it's so customizable is also like incredible. So like you can do all kinds of crap with this. I feel like it's just very, very underrated feature of Blender. But now you know how to do it. How awesome is that? So um, this is my first time doing a tutorial, by the way. If it was absolute garbage, uh, you can tell me. That's perfectly fine. I take criticism somewhat well. Um, if it was helpful, also tell me. Any other tricks that you've seen me do that you'd like me to demonstrate, I would be happy to. Obviously the creatures and the monster sculpting is the thing everybody wanted to actually see me do a tutorial on But like that's like a lot of work. It would be a really long video. So I'm kind of like Building up to that. I'm not ready to do a tutorial of that scale At this point in time, but hopefully we'll get there eventually Right now I'm gonna do little things like this. So if you want more stuff like this video, please tell me and um, Yeah, I hope it helps and I'll see you guys in the next one Oh, haha, you thought that was the end of the video? No, -uh, I was just kidding. No, I'm actually here to talk about a little web comic that I've been uh, I've been working on. So the it's called The Mission. It's a sci-fi thriller uh, little mystery series over on Webtoon. Um hope you guys you can go check it out. The link to it is in the description. It's cool, it's scary. It's uh got a lot of interesting plot twists. The fourth episode just came out. I'm doing one a month. It's only me working on it, so it takes a lot of time. But, you know, it's got four episodes out, so you can just go check those out really quick. I think you'll enjoy it. It's pretty cool. It's creepy. It's got all kinds of sci-fi stuff. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that a little bit. But now, now you can go, and now I will see you in the next video.